Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am here with something that I constructed in a previous video. So this is how you make a poncho starting with squares around your shoulder area but um, I made this as an example and now I'm going to show you how to make the neck opening smaller because in fact if you have made this one and you want to give it to a child but the neck opening is too big it's always better to make this bigger and then make the neck opening smaller certainly for a child because then you can undo it as they grow for instance but imagine you followed a pattern and it's for yourself and your neck opening was just far too big. So this is a way for you to reduce the opening of the neck. Now, when I made my original poncho, I had reduced the amount around the neck by quite a few rows, as you can see here in that sort of denim blue. I did quite a few rows, but then after a while I did think that um, you know the poncho was always falling off on one side so I thought maybe I need to add more rows to reduce it and here in this picture you can see that actually I found some of the pink and the darker blue that I used in the base or the bottom of the poncho and I used that to reduce the neck opening even more and that was worked wonders because now it just stays up really really well so it's a great thing to be able to do Now, I am making this in very bright colours, but the reason for that was so that you would see really well how it works and how it um, is constructed. I am undoing this <laughs> because this colour combination is hurting my eyes, but uh, that's obviously why I haven't sewn in the ends, because otherwise it would be impossible to undo. So we are going to get started by putting a, a row in um and sort of you know taking in the stitches so you will need the yarn that you've used for your project the hook that you've used for your project scissors and of course a darning needle as well so we're going to get started with a slip knot insert your hook and we're going to do a standing in this case a double crochet now i'm going to get started a little bit so this is where the point is okay the points on the front and the back are going to be the places where we are going to be decreasing. Before, when we were actually making the poncho, the corners here were the ones where we increase. Okay, so this time in the neck opening, this is where we are going to decrease. So I'm just going to get started like four or five stitches away from the corner. And I'm doing a double crochet. You can do this with any stitch, you know, single crochet, half double crochet, it doesn't matter. So do a couple of stitches so that you are established. Then look at your corner or look at the stitches that you would be doing normally. So here you have the chain space. This here, we are not going to do any stitches in. And then here you have that chain space again. So you would be doing a stitch in the stitch before the chain space and one in the chain space here, one in the chain space and one before the chain space. So those four locations are the ones that we are going to use for reducing. So that means I have to do one more normal double crochet to get to that location. Okay. So now in the next two locations where you would be putting your stitch, you're going to do a double crochet but only half a one so don't do the second pull through yarn over start another one in the second location so we have two half finished double crochets now we're going to move on to not the point square but to the next square of our side and there we're going to do the same thing into the corner location where you're going to do your half finished double crochet and then the next location as well so now we have four half finished double crochets on our hook 
and now you yarn over and you pull through all the five loops on your hook this has brought all those stitches together now we are going to do a couple more double crochets and let me just show you what we have done let me just lay it down flat look can you see that let me bring it up so we've put all those stitches here into one stitch and that has reduced the amount of stitches and that will reduce our neck opening if we do this a couple of times. So we're doing this at the front tip, but also now I'm going to work my way all the way there and I'll do it here as well. Okay, let me just keep going and I will show you how it works. So I am now nearly at that point again here where I have been doing the increasing down below, but I will be doing the decreasing here. And once again, I am checking to see how many more stitches I need to do. So there'll be another two, I suppose, before I do my double crochets together. So here we are. Yeah, one here. Finish and start the next one there. Then go over to that other square, not touching the point square. There we go here and this one here. Voila. And now all together and we have reduced at that point as well. Let me show you a few more double crochets so you can see the effect. There we go. Okay, and if this was only one color, you wouldn't see it so much. There is probably a little hole, you might think, but you could use uh, the ends here when you're sewing them in to just pull that a little bit closer. But this is how it works. Okay, so you've, you've reduced here and you've reduced on the other side. So I'm now going to work my way here and then I'll show you what to do here as well in your second row. There we go and let's get going. And you will notice as you do a couple of rows that each row will become shorter because obviously we are reducing by quite a few stitches each time. So I'm nearing the end of my row here and I'm just going to do a slip stitch onto that one to close the row. There we go. Now chain up and I'm going to start doing my double crochets. But straight away, I'm going to have to make sure that I check out which ones I'm going to be taking together. So it's going to be this one, this one, that one, and that one. So I've got another one here to do. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to do my together ones. So just keep doing your half finished double crochets, four of them, then pull through all of the loops on your hook and you have reduced once again. Let me just show you after I've done a couple of more double crochets. There we go. See, look. So this is how you are going to reduce the opening of the neck. You're going to reduce the stitches here and 
in the corner at the back there and every time your row will get shorter and shorter because you are losing stitches on the corners there and of course you're going to have to work out how many rows you've got to do because the recipient or the wearer of this poncho is still going to have to fit through but um you know like i say with any garment that you make you have got to measure it onto the actual person who's going to wear it onto yourself or get loads and loads of measurements so you can work it out the you know for the person that it's going to be um, made for so it's very important to try these things out now if you want to make this for um, a small child and then have it for growing then you will have to do quite a few rows of this now because you've made the neck opening far too big it will come down with these uh, rows but then as the years go by you will have to undo the rows so you it might be an idea to do them separately each time so cut off weave in so that when you take one row off it's not going to interfere with the row below so make sure you keep your yarn in a box safe so you can keep on working on that poncho as and when the child grows. So I hope this was a useful video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.